Area 51. Well, this is a top secret Air Force base in southern Nevada, about 83 miles north of Las Vegas, that probably everybody in the world has heard of. That's how secret it is. Well, how did it get started? Dwight Eisenhower, in 1954, he was president, uh, realized that the Air Force was going to be building these very high altitude aircraft, they were later called the U-2s, to fly over the Soviet Union to try and get clues as to whether or not they had the bomb. Okay, so he needed to test out and develop this craft and told the Air Force, find a place. And they found this place next to a, 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 an area known as Groom Lake. There's a dry lake bed there. Area 51 was, in fact, a place nobody ever went unless you were a jackrabbit. So it was a good place to test these planes. Now, what does this have to do with aliens? Nothing, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's still there. They're still testing planes there. But there was a fellow by the name of Bob Lazar who supposedly worked there. And he said in 1989 that he had inside information that there were not only aliens, but also alien craft stacked up there at Area 51. And this fit into the narrative that came out of the Roswell incident in 1947, when some of that debris that had been found on a ranch outside of Roswell was taken off by the military to somewhere. And if you're going to take it to somewhere, they're presumably going to take it to someplace secret. They thought first maybe it just had gone to Ohio, but that wasn't very exotic. Area 51 is much more exotic. And the problem with Bob Lazar's story is that it doesn't seem to check out in detail. I mean, he says, well, I worked there from this year to that, and I uh, did this and the other and so forth. And in fact, there just don't seem to be any records of this. Remember that there are like 1,500 people that worked at Area 51. It isn't all that secret. Most of them live in Las Vegas. The Air Force runs a shuttle plane back and forth, so their commute is by airplane mostly. <laughs> Uh, now, in 2019, this whole business had an interesting uh, little fill-up when a fellow who was just making a joke went on the internet and said, it's time to storm Area 51. We're going to go get them, our aliens. They can't stop all of us. Uh, the assumption was that tens of thousands of people would descend on the fences around Area 51, break down the fences and go in and grab the aliens. Well, it didn't happen happened quite that way. Actually, there were very few people there. There were more people from the media than there were actual people storing the place. But then again, there's no place to really, uh, you know, sleep and get a meal there, except in Rachel, Nevada, which is nearby. Tiny little town. It has one motel called the Little Alien. But that wasn't enough for the people that were coming. You know, personally, uh, if the government really does have aliens stacked up somewhere, they're probably at Area 52, which I think is in New Jersey.